Good morning everyone, it's Sarah. I'm very excited to do my morning skincare routine. Maybe you're watching this in the evening, but this is my morning. I am obsessed with green beauty, clean beauty, non-toxic, botanical, organic, um, that also being vegan and cruelty free because it's coming from plants, beauty. I am basically trying to off set my toxic load in my life. So green beauty is very important to me because it's the one thing that I put on my skin that goes directly into your body, can go into your bloodstream. So I try to make that very, very clean amongst other things in my life, but beauty is very exciting. And yeah, so this is gonna be my morning routine. Always things are changing, so I'm gonna show you what I'm using right now. I'll probably do another video soon, especially with nighttime routine, that'll be different. And then different like specialty product, pro, uh, products that are like treatments, so like scrubs or masks or things like that, we'll do in another video. But let's do the morning routine, let's go. First thing in the morning, I am using the Audacity Black Mint Cleanser. This has Razul clay and activated charcoal. It is actually black. Let me get my hand up. I shake it. It comes in this beautiful glass bottle, which is UV glass. Um, so the one thing about green beauty, they tend to not use a lot of preservatives or they use natural preservatives. So what they'll use is a um, UV glass so that the product doesn't go bad. And it's this wonderful clay. See it? And it makes this really cool foam, very, very light, gentle foam. And what I'll do is I'll just wash my face with this very quickly in the morning. And I try not to do too much because, you know, I don't have a lot of product on my face because I'm just waking up. But I love the mint because it's kind of like bright and wakes you up and livening for the morning. So I'll do it really quick and I'll focus on any parts where I might have buildup or oils like here in between the eyebrows and here because I'm kind of breaking out right here. Okay, so after I dry my face, I don't dry it completely. I make sure there's a little bit of water on my face. I don't want to dry out my skin. But saying that, um, I also don't like tap water being on my skin too much. So what I try to do is I moisturize with something else. I try to like pat moisture in with something else. So this one is the Huamisa Organic Flowers Toner Deep Rich, which is really, really popular in the K-beauty world. This one is actually from Glow Recipe. You can buy it there. This is the larger size. They also come in a smaller size, which is glass. The plastic is a little bit bigger. And what I do with this is basically like a seven skin K-beauty routine, but I do it just like three times because I'm here in Florida. It's a little bit more humid. My skin is not as dry as if I was somewhere else. So I'll just do it like three times. So what you do is you put a little bit in the palm of your hand, but you just like pat it in, press it into the face. You can do like piano fingers on your eyes. And then you do it a few more times. So that's more. Get your neck, of course. Don't forget your neck, because that's gonna show a lot of aging quick because the skin is so thin. And you basically just want to get the skin to absorb as much of that as possible. This is amazing. It's actually fermented. So like fermented skincare would be SK2's essence. Um, but this one is organic. It's very clean. You can look at the ingredients, a lot of plants, and it's, a, it's natural origin ingredients and 97.4 are organic. Fermented, so it gives you a really nice moisture. The base is aloe, so rather than it just being water, so it's very viscous. All right, so I just make sure that I like press that into the face, and you can see the face has more tempeh, like it has more bounce. Yeah, <laughs> has more bounce. Yes where there's more liquid in the face. And that's the difference between having dry skin versus dehydrated skin. So dehydrated skin will just won't have any water in it. And you want um, to get water into the face and then follow the rest of your skincare routine, kind of creating a protective layer over it so that you don't lose that water from your face. Next up, I will do a serum, and usually an oil serum, botanical oil serum. I play with a lot of them and there were so many good ones. I'm gonna have to do a separate video about all the different serums that I like. But I'm gonna show you the one that I've just finished, which is Josh Roseberg. 
So this is the Active Infusion Serum. It is the most beautiful blend of herbs. He has a very herbaceous smell because it's just so many different plants. If you look at the ingredient list, it'll be like this long, but it's all just amazing plant botanical ingredients. And this aroma is incredible. I'm very, very sensitive to the fragrance now. So if you look at a fragrance list on any ingredient um, deck, Fragrance can be a placeholder for tens, hundreds, maybe a thousand different chemicals because fragrance is proprietary. It's something that the company doesn't need to disclose. So I do not like anything with a synthetic fragrance, chemical fragrance, and I also want it to be transparent. And the cool thing about Josh Forsberg is a lot of the fragrance is coming from the actual active ingredients, plus a few um, essential oils that have fragrance properties. It comes in glass, beautiful white glass. All right, I am done with this. I'm gonna just try to open it and get the last. Oh, it smells so good. He is in the luxury section because this serum is $75. But then again, if you go to the department store, serums are usually that and up. The only problem with a lot of department store brands is that they're full of synthetic fillers. So this, you know, it has a reason to be expensive because it takes a long time to cultivate um, very high quality plant extracts and they are mostly organic. So I just take the oil and I start to press it into my skin. And then I will usually do like a little bit of a massage. You could do a, a gua sha massage. Um, but what I tend to do is just move around the face from the center out. And what I'll do is push the lymph down the side. So you want to decrease puffiness in your face. A lot of, that a lot of the time it's actually just lymph in your face. So a lymphatic massage, you will start at your neck and from the ear and down to get that flowing. And then from the center of your face out. And make sure you have oil on your face so you're not like pulling at your skin. So what I'll do is even under the eye, if I have puffy eye, I will go under the skin, push it, and then bring it down. So you always want to push it out and bring it down. You could do that with the jawbone too, to cut your jaw a little bit. Um, and you can use the gua sha. But if you're just, you know, washing your face in the morning, fingers are fine. And I'll usually just smell this because it smells so good. Josh, you're a genius. He's just really incredible. I think everything that he does is just so um, magical because it's all plants. And I do, do not know how he comes up with his formulations. But every herb, because if you're an herbalist, you will know each one has something that it does. And yes, they're all there for a reason. Last but not least, this is the Josh Roseberg Nutrient Day Cream. This is tinted broad spectrum SPF 30. So he uses non-nano zinc. And it is very, very good quality zinc because I don't really see it as white cast on the face. Um, and it's a combination of daily moisturizer plus SPF. And that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something very quick that had SPF, that felt good on my face. It didn't feel like the oils were clogging my pores, which this does not. And a lot of natural SPF or tinted SPF I've been finding feels like that. So this one does not. And it has tinting so that it kind of calms down because I've got a lot of like hyperpigmentation from the sun. I used to have freckles as a kid and now they're just like Whoa. So I've got just maybe a pump and a half or a pump depending on how much coverage I want. And I just rub it into the face. And then make sure you tap into the crow's feet too and get cover the eyelid. <laughs> cover your eyelid because those are parts that we sometimes mess with SPF. And then down here too because if I'm wearing an open shirt. All right, so that is my like usual kind of quick, easy skincare routine. I hope you like it. Comment below about other videos that you wanna see and I'll be coming back to you very soon. Bye, see you guys.